Welcome to our channel. My name is Vanessa and today we're getting into three signs that you're going through a spiritual evolution right now. And why is that important? Because I've been spending a lot of time in spiritual communities online over the past month or so, in some ways doing some research. And I started noticing a trend of three things that a lot of people have noticed that they're going through right now as we continue to evolve. So I wanted to share those with you just in case you're going through those changes so that you know, one, you're not alone, and two, there is a reason for it. But more importantly than that, I want to share what you want to focus on moving forward so that you're better prepared as you evolve and you're better prepared for the big changes that are coming. The first sign that you might have noticed if you're going through a spiritual evolution right now is that you're finding yourself craving more peace and we're talking about inner peace so you're craving more time alone than you might have a couple of years ago you're craving more time connected with the natural world and not in nature you're craving more spiritual connection and maybe you want to spend less time in crowds or in social activities that don't feed your soul anymore so that's one sign that you're going through a spiritual evolution right now is that you're craving more inner peace and you're finding yourself more at peace with yourself. The second sign that you're going through a spiritual evolution right now is that time starts to feel different for you. Now, one of the reasons is because collectively as a solar system, we're moving to a more energetically active area of space. And that intensification is affecting the planet physically and on an energetic level. In fact, there are different planetary bodies in our solar system that are also experiencing things like climate change and more volcanic activity and things like that. And it's all due to us being in this more active area of space. So what's happening above is affecting us here at the physical level on Earth. You might have also noticed with that that your ability to process information has gotten faster. One really good example of this is when I'm on YouTube watching videos, I very rarely watch videos on normal speed. I'm watching videos in double speed and my husband thinks it's kind of funny because the, everyone sounds like a chipmunk when they're talking but I'm grabbing all of the information and truly there are times where I wish I could speed it up even faster because I'm noticing that I'm able to process information in a much quicker way. You might have noticed your ability to play with time, meaning that you can slow time way down and truly savor a moment. Or you can speed things right up when you're moving through a task that you really don't need to focus on too much. So you start to play around with time a little bit. You realize that it's much more malleable than we were ever taught to believe. Now, the third sign you're going through a spiritual evolution is that you start to see opportunities where others see chaos. What do I mean by this? You may have a very different perspective about what's happening around the world right now than the average person. And the reason for that is because there is nothing average about you. So of course, you're gonna have a bigger view, a broader perspective on what's happening. So when it comes to things like health, many people are afraid of losing their lives because of what's been going on for the past two years. And instead, you might be in a place where you've realized how much more you value your health, and it might have even been a catalyst for you to start taking better care of yourself. So there you saw opportunity where others saw chaos. Another great example would be your financial situation. A lot of people are afraid about an economic collapse, and yet there are a lot of opportunities out there to make money and earn income. New ways and ways that now are much more accessible to people because of the technological advances we've had with the internet and things like that. Maybe you're one of the people who started a new venture, a new entrepreneurial idea during the past two years, and that's because you saw opportunity where others saw chaos. Now, one other area where people saw a lot of chaos and there was a lot of fear was in relationships. And maybe you've seen this. I know I've seen this in my family and with some of the people in my circle. Things have shifted. 
some people have different opinions about what we should be doing with our bodies. And so that's created kind of a split, but at the same time, it's given us a clearer picture of who is more like-minded, who is more in agreement with the kind of lifestyle that we value. And so where other people saw that there was a split and there was a lot of depression over people not being able to connect, you've seen opportunities to connect with more like-minded people, to create more like-minded communities, to connect with communities maybe before that you wouldn't because now you're more open and ready to make these kind of spiritual connections. So that's an opportunity where others saw chaos. Now my challenge to you moving forward is to focus on being better, at least a little bit better every single day, a better version of you. Think about your health goals. Think about your financial goals. Think about your goal to make a difference in the world. Think about the relationships you value. Whatever it is that is most important to you, allow yourself to be at least a little bit better in that area of your life today than you were yesterday. Because that's when you know you're on the right track. You're on the track for growth. Did you enjoy this video? Did you get a boost of energy by listening in? Then be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to get more videos like this to help you make your purpose your reality.